guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and today we're gonna to be going into a local consignment store, Pavement, here in Houston, Texas. And I'm gonna go in with the intention to make profit on some inventory that I have on hand that's either older or I've just held on to it and never gotten around to posting it. So basically we're gonna be filming this video just a little bit differently. I'm gonna take you guys back home to where I'm filling up the bag I'm bringing in and show y'all what I'm taking and then we'll go over what all they buy and whether or not this whole venture is profitable. We're just gonna kind of go over what all I'm taking in and see if it's profitable. Most of the items I'm taking in are from the bins. The other few items are from the Goodwill Select store. So after I like show y'all what it is, I'm gonna add it up and just kind of see what that number is I get out at the end and let y'all know if it's profitable or not. So to start off, I'm taking in a couple pairs of shoes. Since I mainly resell women's, I didn't really fool with selling these men's shoes. They're really cool Nikes. I showed them in my outlet haul, um, but they're dope. They're Forrest Gump Nikes. I just literally don't feel like posting them. Um, lazy, I don't know. Then I'm posting these women's shoes. They're so cool. I literally love them, and I've gotten so many compliments on them on my page, but they're just not somebody's size. They're size 10, women's vintage sandals. So cute, but you know, what are you gonna do? Vintage Wrangler shorts, a pair of vintage overalls, just a blue wash denim. They're a larger size and they just didn't end up selling on my page. Um, I'm taking these Carhartt overalls. They're in really good condition, but Carhartt is super expensive new. So I picked it up, but they're men's and they're really large men's. So I don't really feel like putting them on my page. So I'm going to take them to the consignment store and see if I can get anything out of them. I also have these Bugle Boy Vintage Joggers. They're really cool, but again, they're men's and I just don't feel like posting them. I also have these Wrangler Long Denim. Um, I do kind of want to put them on my page, but I don't really feel like cutting them right now, so I just am feeling impulsive and I literally just want to take a ton of stuff to a consignment store and see what all I can get. Then I have these linen pants right here. These are brand new with tags, just from Old Navy, but linen is so popular, I feel like they're really nice. Um, and then also these cute little striped linen pants, which also did not sell on my page. Then we're gonna go into the other items I'm taking in, this sparkly number, brand new with tags. It's BB Dakota, which is from Nordstrom. And I also have it listed on Poshmark, and I've had it on there for a couple months. And I know that's not that long for most people, but I'm pretty impatient. Um, and I like to move my inventory really quick. So I'm looking to get rid of it. Then I have a few jackets. I have this L.L. Bean vintage jacket with a corduroy um, collar. It's really pretty. I got it from the bins, and it's super nice vintage jacket. It just didn't sell. I think I listed it kind of like late um late winter early spring so there just wasn't that big of a demand for jackets so it's been sitting and i'm looking to get rid of it then i have a few other jackets i'm taking in also all from the bins this vintage western number i love it so much but it's in houston and it's hot like 80 percent of the year i'm literally never gonna wear it same with this cute little leopard jacket i also love but just won't wear and then this vintage western jacket i'm obsessed with this it's just a little too big on me it's a size xl and just i won't be using it so i'm going to take it there it's so cool though and i really hope they take it then i'm going to take a few items from the goodwill select so i paid up a bit for these items this is a rebecca taylor blouse really pretty i love it but Again, I just have enough clothes. Then this little floral purse. I feel like it's so cute and super popular. So I'm hoping they'll take it because pastels are super in this spring. Then this crocodile leather skirt. What else am I taking in? Um, I'm going to take this Hawaiian shirt in. It's cute. And they have like a Hawaiian shirt rack. So I feel like it'll, it'll do well, hopefully. And then... This denim jacket that's new with tags. I did get this from the Goodwill Select store. Usually I would never buy jackets there, but I thought it was such a nice staple piece that it would sell on my page, but it didn't. Mm, that's okay. So I'm going to take it to the time store and see how it does there. I have a few other things. 
this adulting dress. I loved this adulting dress. I was really surprised, but also I kind of understand it's a bit of a loud piece. Like you probably can't wear it to work. So I'm gonna take it into the consignment store and see how it does there. Oh, this is also really cool. I really feel like they'll take this. This Dickies coverall set. It's got these like tags on it um, that are like fairly like very NASCAR-y. Uh, it's from the Goodwill Select store, so I also paid up for that, like $8. Then, this is also from the Goodwill. I literally remember where every single piece is from, even if, like, it's not written down. I don't know if any other resellers can relate, or just people in general. Like, I just remember my clothes. Like, I remember where things are from. Anyway, this is definitely from the Goodwill Select store. It's a really cute little linen blouse. Some of these things, if the consignment store doesn't take them, like, I will just keep them. But I'm trying to reinvest in my business and not keep everything then this cute little floral bodysuit a couple maxi dresses a floral maxi and then a vintage floral maxi then we have a vintage floral um linen skirt that i'm going to take in a little cutie vintage knit top this is so cute and so many people loved it on my page again it just wasn't the right size for the people that were interested and that's the thing that kind of stinks about secondhand is like you only find one and like it is either your size or it isn't you know there's like no in between but a cutie little vintage knit number then I'm going to take in this Maeve Anthropology puff sleeve dress. I love it so much and I'm so sad that like it hasn't sold yet on Instagram or Poshmark. But again, I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. So get it cleared out because I'm constantly wanting to source new things. And I feel like when things have sat for a while, they just end up not going. Like every once in a while, a little thing will sell. But it's very few and far between, at least for me. Then I have these cute pastel numbers. I feel like they'll love them. Um, this, oops, this little pastel dress. It's so cute. It gives me just like these like vintage, beautiful vibes. Then I have a little pastel knit top. Cute inside out, but you know, we're just going over everything real quick. Then I'm going to take in this little foxy top. I thought this was the cutest thing. I also got this from the Goodwill Select, so I paid like 6 or $7 for it. I know, crazy. Anyway, I just thought it was so cool, so I got it. Then we have two pairs of jeans, a pair of American Eagle jeans, brand new with tags, 90s slim boyfriend. I feel like they'll do really well, like they'll take them. And then I have these leather, like, moto pants. They're real leather, so... Hopefully that does well too. A couple athletic pieces. I have an Athleta um, long sleeve and then a Lululemon tank top. I'm gonna take those. And then lastly, a couple of t-shirts. I'm gonna take this Prague t-shirt. They love funky t-shirts at this consignment store. So I'm gonna take it in and just see how it does. I feel like it's really cool. Um, so hopefully they like it. And then I was gonna take in this funky American Eagle vintage top. Sometimes like really light items and items that just don't go for that much are not necessarily like worth putting on my page. I wouldn't really want to sell this for more than $12 shipped and saying that I at least paid like a dollar fifty ish for it at the bins. Once I take in my shipping and my poly mailer, I'm really not profiting that much and I would just rather just kind of see how these stuff does there and then gauge if that's something that I can end up making a profit on. Like buying things that are like smaller from the bins, taking them to the consignment store and just seeing how they do. So anyway, let's go ahead and package this up and take it in and see how everything does and I'll come back to you with a report on it. So this is the stack of what all they are wanting to buy from me today. They pin the price of what they will be selling the item at to each piece. So that way, you know, you can see whether or not you feel like it's a fair deal for yourself as well as the consumer. Um, I feel like each price is priced at really fairly and I can opt to either get 40% cash of that or 50% store credit. So then let's go ahead to the end and see how much total I get and whether this is a good deal. I'm back and 
The verdict is it's profitable. I opted to go with store credit, which they offered me $173 in, or I could have gone with the cash option and gotten about 130 ish I opted to go with the store credit because I love shopping at this particular consignment store, Pavement in Houston. Um, they have really cool, unique, funky stuff, and it's really nice to diversify the things that I bring on my page, as well as spice up my own wardrobe. Um, so I ultimately just opted to go with that because I got a significant amount more. Um, but the cash option actually still would have made me just a bit of profit. So I calculated that I'd spent about $122 on the bag of stuff that I brought in, mainly it being from the bins, and then just about $60 worth from the Goodwill select stores. So I'm really happy. I will definitely do this again. I kind of want to do a haul where I particularly just buy for selling at a consignment store and then see how that does because this stuff was stuff that I would bought to resell or put on my page or had put on my page and just was impatient. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to go in with a different mindset. They said that they were looking for Y2K items, um, platforms, anything 90s, and as always, denim. So those are all really good things to know if you're taking in stuff to the consignment store. So thank you so much for joining along today. If you guys liked watching this or like watching all of my videos, you should be sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss out. Thank you so much for being here. Love y'all. Bye.